Hey YouTube, Windraiser here today coming to you with another Transformers review. And today we're going to be looking at Transformers Power of the Primes Generation Select Ricochet. Now I got him from the uh, Hasbro Pulse website. And he came within a week later. So I am very happy to have my first. Yes, people. This is my first ever Ricochet figure. First off, I'm going to take a look at his accessories, then him, then we'll go into his limbs and his robot mode. So in case you don't know, haven't already figured out, yes, this is a, the same mold that was used for uh, Power of the Primes Jazz. So first off, accessories, he ha does have the same weapon as Jazz. Hollowed out. Still don't know why. He has the same combine uh prime armor as jazz just done in white a very nice white and the centerpiece is a clear plastic weapon not sure how long this is going to hold up i'm going to set this off the side and we'll take a look at Ricochet here. First off, that paint job on the front is beautiful. I do like the silver silver trim here at the bottom with the yellow here for the turn lights, the clear plastic blue for the headlights. That Autobot signia and uh, detail, right the flame detail is beautiful. So we got clear plastic for the windows, gold trim right there. Some more white. We have gold hubcaps. Another gold flame, nicely painted. Come to the back. Not much. I have a nice gold trim here on the uh, tail fin. Now, mine doesn't hold together well. Just this piece at this part right here. He transformed correctly. It's just the pieces here aren't clipping here. Right where my fingers are sitting. This piece here does not clip right there. You can see it's not clipping in very well. I don't know if it's just my copy, which I'm probably guessing it is. But yeah. A uh, size-by-size comparison of him against other Transformers in vehicle mode. Here he is with um, Age... It was it Age? No, it was Last Night's uh, Crosshairs. Mm, about the same length. My Crosshairs is very dirty. Here he is with Titan's Return Dogfight. Dogfight is also dirty. I gotta clean him. And here he is with a tease of one of my new sets that I've got that I gotten recently. One of the Siege Seekers. This is Nova Storm. You can see how small he is. <laughs> So yeah. So first off, we're gonna go from this to his limbs, mainly leg, then arm, and then we'll go from there to robot. So to get him into his leg mode is fairly easy. Just come here, unhook the wheels real quick, lift up, bring down, put those back, and see these this peg right here. It's going to go into that slot right where my thumb is sitting, right there. Do that on both sides. And come over here, flip out the combiner peg, and there you have his foot mode. It's very, really, very, very cool. I do like it. To go to from here to his limb mode, his arm mode, uh, take this. I remember how to do this correctly. 
this will come up and sit right there. There's this white clip that sits right here in where the arms are. You can see those white clips inside the forearm. Alright, now we got that done. Going to come to legs. Unpeg them, or unfold them. Close it up. Open up. Accordion out. Close up. Peg the legs back together. And whichever side you want him to be on, rotate his waist. Bend up the robot knees. Bring the combiner hand. And there you have him in his arm mode. Very cool. He's a very good arm. Makes a very good arm. Although he will never be uh, connected to one of my combiners. So, so to go from here to his robot, just so simply turn this back, flip these back down, rotate his waist back around, unpeg his legs. Push here at this part of his foot and flip out his toe. Bring it out till it clicks. Yeah, on the same other side. Stand him up. Fold in the combiner peg. Fold out what will be his arms. Fold his head down. Bring this forward. You're going to come underneath here. You're going to Pop this up, fold this piece down, and push this back in, come back under, fold up his head, there are these little slots right where my thumb is pointing, and there are these little clips right here underneath his head, they're going to slot right there. Fold the chest down, put it back into place, and then we'll just peg that in till it clicks into place. And then we'll fold down the arms. And there we have Ricochet in his robot mode. And to be quite honest, I love his robot mode. I love this guy. I like literally like the contrast of the gold, the white, the black. The silver here from the bumper, the blue here for the headlights, and then that head sculpt. Even though it is Jazz's head, that is a beautiful head. Focus. There you go. So yeah, he does have the gold on gold, the gold visor on gold face. I will be getting, um, hopefully, I think Toy Hacks has his replica labels, I'm not sure. I will get it. Um, the good thing about him is he's just good all around. Like, I have, no, there it goes. I have no, have had no problems with any of the gold on him chipping whatsoever. Uh, posability, there is a hinge at his knee. A, well, this, this, that's not supposed to happen. This leg just has a very tight swivel. So he does have a swivel there. But it has easily popped right back on. So the swivel there is tight. Uh, fun on that one. Ball joint at the hip. You can go forward, back, and out. Uh, mushroom peg here at the shoulder, as you can see right there. So I can do a full 360. Uh, because of the hit transformation hinge, you can go in and out. Ball joint at the elbow. Some wrist, but not much. Like it's on a mushroom peg. And then his head is on a ball joint. A very limited one. He can hold his weapons like so. Um, I see a lot of artwork of him with this on his shoulder. And my phone just did that green thing again. And it's got... Makes him act like it's a punch blaster or something. So yeah, very cool. Size comparison with him against other figures. Here he is next to um, Prime Power of the Prime's uh, line mate, 
blot. You can see how tall he is compared to him. Here he is with an oldie but a favorite. Fusor air hammer. Get him over there. You can see how tall he is compared to a, a Beast Wars Maximal. And here he is next to another tease figure. Siege Acid Storm. You can see how tall he is next to him. And here he is next to a current Siege Autobot. My favorite, Six Gun. You can see how tall he is next to him. He is a little short compared to Siege Ironhide. Just a head shorter. But he is all around a very good figure. Now, should you pick him up and add him to your collection? Yes, definitely pick him up. He's worth buying. He is worth the money. But there you guys go. Um, I am Windraiser. I hope to see you on the next review. If you guys like this, please leave a like and a comment down below. Also, for any questions, I will leave a link to the TF Wiki page of him so people will know, who more, know more about him. And also, please hit that bell for notifications because, you know, YouTube's not going to let you know that I'm posting a new review. See you all in the next one.